Kimber Schaefer here with Rage in the Cage. We are here at Terror on 10th Street. It is a fantastic and frightful haunted house on Northwest 10th and Penn. And we are so excited that they are sponsoring our interviews tonight for our inaugural event, Rage in the Ring One. And you know, it's just fitting that this guy, Ken Coulter, is going to start us off right. He is fighting on that card. And you know, Ken, you have your entire amateur career was spent at Rage in the Cage. And so we've seen your career from day one uh, in the cage. And now, you know, I'm just so excited that we get to see the beginning of your career in Rage in the Ring. How excited are you that you're playing a part in this event? Excited. I think uh, it's a big opportunity. Rage in the Cage pretty much helped bring me out as a amateur and fighting in the cage and now I want to turn around and get the same thing and the same results in the boxing ring. I don't think anyone is prepared to stand with me. That's why they all try to take me down. Well, and that's exactly what I was thinking as you were talking is um, all the times that I've seen you on a Rage in the Cage card, um, I always see those quick takedowns and um, you have not really to this point been able to showcase your stand up. I mean, I've seen you throw some punches a lot of times on your back or in, you know, different times throw a few punches, but it's never really um, a lot of stand up. And so how excited are you to show your fans um, a different aspect of who you are as a fighter? I have so many submission wins that a lot of people don't know. I actually came into the fight scene as a striker. Um, I was actually labeled as nothing but a striker, and then I started submitting everyone, and now I just plan to show everyone that we still can strike, and we're going to work our way from the bottom to the top. I mean, I'm ready to go in and work hard, and I just don't think my opponent is going to outwork me, whether it's on a workout schedule or whether it's in the ring or a cage. I'm just not going to be outworked, so I'm just ready to go out here and put on a good show for everyone. Well, I tell you, it's going to be a great show. The fights on this card are, um, they just have everybody pumped that I've talked to. This is just getting so much attention um, from the fight world, from Oklahoma to regionally. Uh, last night on the radio show, um, you know, it, it was so exciting to hear the national attention that, um, that we're seeing from this event. So, you know, just from a fighter looking at this, how excited are you to see where this Rage in the Ring is going to go? Um, I'm ecstatic. I think it's just, like I said, a, a big opportunity, and I'm going to seize it. I'm not going to take it lightly. I don't take any opponent lightly. And so I'm going to come out against this guy. He's from R1, so I know they can fight. And so I think we should go out here and put on a good show and show them that we can box, and Oklahoma is just here to stay in the fight world. Well, and, you know, like we said, we've seen you in the MMA world, um, but you said that your actual specialty is, you know, stand-up in your hands. And so what are you looking to get out of boxing? I mean, this is the first time that you're going to be in a ring as a boxer. Um, so are you looking for maybe – do you see yourself kind of feeling and tasting the boxing and being like, okay, I'm done with MMA for a while, or are you ready to switch back and forth and just kind of pursue both – avenues that's pretty much what I look to do a lot of people say you can't be effective at two professional sports and that's kind of where I'm looking to break the barrier I, I think I can go out and perform in MMA and then turn around the next month and go box and then keep going and just see how far this goes I mean I'm pretty blessed and talented I don't think they're prepared to deal with me honestly I'm just going to keep on doing what I've been doing and I'm going to bring damage to this weight class this weight division of 145 147 I'm here to stay and I'm going to take it over well, I tell you, if anybody can dominate at two sports, I think it's you, Ken Coulter. So I'm looking forward to seeing um, just a whole new side of you. So talk to me a little bit about the training going into boxing versus MMA. Um, are you taking things differently? Are you working more on your footwork? Um, what's different about this card since it is, you know, obviously going to be, you know that somebody can't take you down. It's, it's going to be stand up or else. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I like that. Me personally, I didn't switch up a whole lot. I did get a lot more of guys in there to go sparring rounds of just straight boxing as opposed to kickboxing. But I think it's just going to be one of those shows to where it's like this kid can box and I'm looking forward to seeing him again. So hopefully we can bring that type of charisma that we brought to the cage and bring it into the ring and hopefully make good things happen for this promotion. Because, you know, you guys have been good to me and I just want to stick around and stay loyal to those who have been loyal to me. Well, and that's what it all it, you know, it just it's all about. And so we're so excited about that. Now, let's talk about, um, you know, when you get in the cage, you're prepared, you know what you can do, you're very ingrained in that, you know that. 
Now, how do you change and switch your mindset? Um, I've seen a couple of boxing matches with MMA fighters in them, and you can actually kind of pinpoint the moments where they, in their moment, oh, you know, they go for that takedown, and right before they, you know, take the other fighter out, they're like, oh, wait, this is boxing, I can't do that. So how are you getting into that mindset and, um, and changing things up? I mean, just it, looking around and seeing a ring in front of you instead of a cage, do you think that's going to do it for you? No, um, it's kind of like training jujitsu. I can't drop strikes on my opponent, so I mean, it's just being disciplined. It's one of those things to where you, you know you're not supposed to throw a knee or you're not supposed to throw a kick or go for a takedown. And seeing as I strike first, I'm looking to beat the guy up on his feet before we even get to the ground, so I don't think I'll have a problem with wanting to go in for a takedown. I usually don't initiate takedowns. All right, well, sounds good. Now, let's talk about your future. You said that, you know, your goal is to dominate um, both boxing and MMA. Um, what other disciplines do you think you're going to get into? BJJ tournaments, Muay Thai? I mean, what else is uh, in your future? Probably competing. Well, uh, I might do a, a kickboxing match, but I really don't want anything to do with it. I will continue to do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu tournaments, and I'm going to box and then stay in the cage. So I think that's enough right there, you know, without overloading my plate. I think just kind of one step at a time and see where it takes us. Definitely keeping you busy. As far as cardio, do you think that boxing is going to require more of that, or are you um, you think less? I think either way it goes. I mean, anyone who's ever grappled, they know that takes a lot of energy. I mean, it, it drains you. And boxing, I mean, I, I move around. Anyone who sees my fights, I have footwork, I move. And so I don't think it's going to be too much different because I kind of move around as if I'm boxing anyway in the cage. So I think it's just going to be my time to take it and transition and do something different with my talents and skills. So I'm just looking forward to it. Any last words for the people out there watching Ken Coulter? Uh, Team Coulter, man, we love y'all. All my sponsors, everybody. You see the shirts? AMA, Steve Hayes, Interlink Diagnostic, Ray Oliver over at Little Troopers, man. All you, Everything you guys do is a blessing. I appreciate all of the support from all y'all, and I love y'all. We appreciate you guys all as well supporting this guy because it helps us uh, be a team and together as a partnership. Rage in the Cage and all these fighters mean a lot to us, and so we thank you for all the people that sponsor them. And guess what? You're going to make a difference in their lives and in um, supporting local MMA and local boxing. So don't miss our inaugural event, Rage in the Ring 1. We couldn't be more excited. You can get tickets from Ken Coulter or any of the fighters on the card. Of course, you can get tickets at TicketStorm.com or you can go to any party galaxy location. So you know what? Be there or one of these monsters here at Terror on 10th Street might just have to come after you.